You remember this face sculpting palette, right? I showed you all about how to contour, how to bronze, how to highlight with it, how to look thinner, tanner, all the things, right? Here's the deal, is that you can also use it for eyes. So let's do that today, right? Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Everybody wants to know, easy peasy eyeshadow look. Like, no brainer, anyone can do it, right? But here's the thing too is, I like a product that I can use for multiple things, right? So yesterday I showed you guys this palette right here. It has the mirror, not janky, it's awesome. I hate a janky mirror. I'm always gonna tell you whether or not the mirror is janky or not because I can't handle a janky mirror. You know, when you look at it and you're like in a fun house, good morning, good morning. Um, I hate that, right? Um, Pharmacy has one eyeshadow palette that's like that. It was a limited edition thing and it's literally the worst and I can't, like I get dizzy watching it. So no janky mirror for this. This is the face sculpting palette, but here's the deal is since I love a product that you can use for multiple things, you can literally do everything with this. I contoured, I bronzed. Um, I could do my brows if I wanted them a little lighter. I like a little darker brow just because my, some of my, well, my hair is gray, but some of it is darker still. So this is it right here, but I love an easy peasy eyeshadow look, right? So get yourself just a fluffy brush. This is so easy. There is literally no rhyme or reason. Both browns, start in the outside and really put that color right there and then bring it across. Um, don't be scared of this one, okay? Because even though it's pretty pigmented as like your contour and stuff, it doesn't get away from you really on the eyes. I mean, I guess if you were digging in it maybe, but I just kind of mix them together and then I put it here in this outer corner only. You guys, this is the most simple eye look you will ever do. And I feel like it's something that you see all the time on people with that brown crease. Okay, and then you kind of get that cut crease area. Hey, Melissa, good morning, how are you? Um, I thought I was gonna use that brush, that's a no. Just get any brush, it doesn't even have to be a fancy brush. And then you're gonna come in with your white. So, I love this palette. Like, over the weekend, whenever I was traveling, I used this palette because then I have my contour, um, I have my highlight, like I can put this powder under my eye like I did yesterday. And you guys, it's such a simple eye look, but it looks so great. So anytime you want your eyeshadow a little darker, go with a smaller, more compact brush versus this fluffy brush, right? This is why I have so many brushes. So I can bring this in in this darker color. And then the closer up that you hold to the brush, the more control you have, the darker your shadow is gonna be. You get back here, you get a lot less control, so you can blur lines, that kind of thing. This one, I really want up close, and I want to put that shadow right here in the outer corner to really give it that depth and dimension. If I want it even darker, just watch this, you guys. I just take, you can get water. I just have this um, mineral water spray setting here, but you can use water if you want. Put it on there. You can use setting spray too, and then really put it on there. Do you see how that really darkened that up? Shadows are fun like that, okay? And then I just go again and a little under eye and I'm just in that darkest color. So it's the color that I would have used for the contour. So I kind of mixed it for the transition and then put it everywhere, okay? And then let me get another little brush. Mm. This one will work right here. This is the lighter color again. You're gonna pop that right here in the inner corner. So this is a matte look. You're not gonna have any shimmer with this look, which sometimes I just really like because sometimes I feel like shimmer is really fun and matte is really elegant and pretty. And then you can kind of get your lid as bright as what you want. Voila, right? It's perfect, okay? It's so easy, it's so easy. You add your lashes, your liner, you do all the things, and it's go time. And so then when you're traveling, you really don't have to have a ton of products with you because I feel like this is a really um, great look. And if you wanna add a little shimmer, get yourself a highlight, any highlight. We have highlight palettes. This is the Terracotta Highlight Powder. It's probably my favorite because it's kind of um, that tannish, not that white, so it looks really neutral. That does not look really neutral. The color does, it's not bright white or bright pink. That's what I mean. 
definitely does not look neutral. It's definitely not blending in with the rest of my face because, well, I don't want it to. Okay. So again, I'm just taking those two colors and kind of swirling it around. And then in this outer corner, it kind of came out here, but it just didn't get as dark out there as what I wanted. So that's when I did the wet brush with the mineral water spray. And I just kind of dipped it in that dark. And then I just put it out here in this outer corner. I didn't even transition it over or anything. I did go ahead and put that um, lighter color on the lid again. But yeah, this look is so easy, you guys. So easy. Okay. Voila. Take your big fluffy brush. This actually just needs to be a flat brush. It doesn't even have to be fluffy. You can use any brush for this because you're just kind of packing it on there. And then I'm packing it up to my crease. So on this eye, I go a little above the crease because it's a little hooded so that you can still see it above when my eye is closing. So you can see me kind of how it's blended that part a little bit. Maybe we need to put a little bit more there. I don't know. This brush. So I didn't put any more product on there. I'm just kind of trying to blend it a little bit. Okay, and then you come in with the light right here. And it just kind of opens it up a little bit, highlights. It's not gonna go crazy. Um, let me show you real quick the difference um, of using like a highlighter versus just a matte shadow for that inside. Um, I really should be using a mirror here. Can you see how that's a little wider there? I don't know if you guys can see that in the mirror, but just kind of has that little bit of glow there now. That's what the shimmer will do to the inside corner. Good morning, good morning. So this is one of my favorite palettes because you can do so much with it. Even though it looks so simple, you can do contouring, bronzing, highlighting, eyeshadow looks, brows. I mean, if I really wanted to do a lip look with this, I could do that too. Um, all you have to do is put on like a little chapstick and then just rub it on there and you're good to go. I will tell you, I'm gonna steer clear of lip products today. I'm carrying this thing with me and applying it a thousand times. I couldn't figure out what was chapping my lips it's been chapped all month. Um, and so I kept, I thought, well, maybe it's just like change of season or something. I don't know. So um, I'd gotten this in my BoxyCharm this month. It's a lip oil. I love the way it feels when it goes on. It looks so pretty and shiny. It smells great. It's incredible. It's chapping my lips. And the more they were chapped, the more I was using this, the more they are chapped. And now it's like they are almost raw on the sides. So I'm gonna be doing only a lip conditioner all day for a couple days because that thing is destroying me and I do not love it, okay? All right, so let's do a little bit of liner. Um, I'm just gonna do my brown ink liner. Um, it this, These liners are kind of some of my favorites, um, especially if I'm not gonna wear lashes um, because these are so easy. These go on as easy as that lash liner adhesive glue. And this actually comes in several colors, so it does come in black, but for whatever reason, I ran out of mine, and then it's been out of stock, and then when it comes back in, it goes back out pretty quick, I feel like, and I don't even know if it's in or out of stock, the black one. Um, Watch how easy these are to make a wing. Did you see that? And I just fill in the bottom, like, and then I have a wing. It's amazing. They're so easy to use. But the black, I think, because it was coming in the kit, a lot of the items that were coming in the kit, that beauty kit, 125, you get like $330 worth of makeup. Um, here's something fun fact. You guys, when I got banned on Facebook, I thought my recruits would really slow down. Can I just tell you a little God story for a second? Um, and I was so excited because I was in the running for that Disney trip. Like I was even on the list in the top 10 of getting that right and um i just thought oh wow so right in the middle of this contest i now am banned on facebook i can't do anything 
I don't really have the following on Instagram that um, I have on Facebook. So, okay, I'm done. But you guys, here's the thing is I cried for two days and then I decided that um, I don't have a whole lot of control over my life. I have some choices and, and the choices that I make really impact and affect my life. Um, but what I mean by that is like God's in control, right? So I literally, after crying for two days, after being banned on Facebook for 30 days, um, I literally was just like, God, can you bring me the people that need to be brought? Um, and the people that don't just leave them alone, let them carry on. But the people who need to be brought to me, can you just bring them to me? Because I don't have a way of now reaching them in the ways that I did before. Right. And you guys, I have not slowed down. Um, I have recruited, I think 12 now, um, people to my pharmacy team. And I am just so blown away by people who, um, are reaching out, who are ordering, who are doing all the things because I just thought it would just crush my business because I built my business on Facebook. Um, and, and those people are all the people that love me and support me and do all the things. And Instagram doesn't really know me, so it was really difficult. Um, but like God is taking care of it. God is taking care of it. Um, okay, so let's do a little mascara. Let's see here. My lash curlers. Um, I hope that you guys are having a good week. Yesterday was a long day for me. I didn't get home until almost 7. And then Kyle had a job to do that he couldn't go to until about 7. Um, so I actually was in bed when he got home. Um, I came home, made some dinner, laid down on the couch, watched some Glee. You guys, have you watched Glee? I don't know if it's just me that loves Glee. I have watched, this is probably about the fourth or fifth time I've watched Glee all the way through. Because I love it so much. And you guys, it's just singing and dancing. And I just love it. It is my favorite show. And I watch it over and over. Um, before they took Heart of Dixie off of um, Netflix, I watched it a lot, a lot. Um, you guys, this is the Limitless Mascara. It has Capixel in it, which is an ingredient that helps strengthen your lashes so that they don't fall out as much. So then they grow longer. So then you'll have longer and fuller lashes because they're not falling out. And it's really a pretty amazing mascara. Like that's just one coat. Can you see that? Um, but so, um, but actually Heart of Dixie is just now been added to Amazon Prime. And I love Heart of Dixie so much. I can't even count how many times I've watched it all the way through, probably like seven or so. It's right up there with Gilmore Girls. You know what's kind of funny is this is the first winter that I did not watch Gilmore Girls. I always watch Gilmore Girls in the winter. Um, I don't know why. I think it's because of her excitement for snow and Christmas and all the things. And I love that. But for whatever reason, I just didn't. I don't know. So I'm watching Glee. And they're in college already. So oh, I know it's getting close to ending. I don't even know how many seasons there are. I know there is a lot. And there's a lot of episodes per season. A lot, a lot. <laughs> so it takes me forever to get through it. So I do watch other things in the meantime, like Good Girls. And I really like, um, oh, what's, what's the spinoff of The Fosters on um, Hulu? Um, Good Trouble. Is that what it's called? I think. Um, Good Trouble. Um, so, but I can only watch one episode a week, so that's kind of sad. You guys, when Good Girls came out on Netflix, I was so disappointed. <laughs> Because I started it and I'm like, um, I've already seen this. I'm like, um, what's happening right now? I watched it on Hulu already. Guys, my soul was crushed. <laughs> I know that that sounds ridiculous, but my soul was crushed. <laughs> okay, so then if you even if you wanted to add some pink lashes, you could. I might do that. I don't know, but right now I'm not. Um, but this palette is a must-have um, because you can contour, bronze, highlight, and then do the eyeshadow look. And then if I wanted to, I could pop a little color over. Let me just show you real quick. If I just take one of these, see how it gives me a little bit of color, almost like a nude lipstick. It just kind of smooths it out. And I'm just placing this over a chapstick. So it kind of sticks to that. Now it's not going to stay. Um, you guys, I feel really bad for those of you who did not get these liquid lipsticks they're a limited edition thing i'm praying that they bring them back my god does huge things so they may um but right now they're not 
and they're literally so amazing because they're super creamy. They dry so fast. Last night when I took off my makeup, I had to take off my lipstick because it was still there. It was gone in the middle, just a tiny bit. Like if I had just added a little gloss or something, it would have brought it right back to life and been amazing. But these things are so incredible. I really hope that they bring them back. But there's today's look, super simple, super easy. I need this palette. It's $21.90 before tax and shipping. I think it's incredible because you use it for all the things, right? So, um, I don't know. I was gonna say, where's my setting spray? We gotta set everything and we're good to go. Walk out the door. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Um, and if you're wondering if I really do love you, I really do from the bottom of my heart. If you were watching this, if you watched it all the way through, um, I literally love you. And here's the thing is that people just hate people for no reason at all. Right? So I just feel like I can love people for no reason at all. Um, because I am a decent and kind human being, which is just a thing that I I think Facebook doesn't know about me because they keep banning me for violence and hate speech and things like this. And it's literally the most ridiculous thing because I'm like, you don't know who I be. I am a kind, nice person. <laughs> but I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. And um, I will be back here tomorrow. If there's something specific that you want to know, learn all the things, let me know. Otherwise, I might be going over the beauty kit again because tomorrow's the last day for my incentive um, to win a Disney trip. And the last time they came out with the top 10, I wasn't in there, but I was, I would have been like one less than them. So if I had had one more person, I would have bumped up and I've actually had, I think two or three people join me since then. So here's the thing is like, I'm super hopeful to even just make like the top 10, the top five get, um, the trip, but I would be so excited to just be recognized in the top 10 because then literally people who are not on my team sent me the screenshot of that list and was like, oh my gosh, you're on there. Right? So Oh, I love it. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day and I will see you guys tomorrow morning.